Hey guys, what's up? So Motorola launched its first foldable smartphone in November of 2019 and the second iteration of the phone was expected in September but looks like it has the same fate as the original as it is reportedly delayed. Also Motorola is working on a new phone in the Edge series, the Moto Edge Lite. The Motorola Razr brought back the iconic folding design from 2004 with some modern twist and the Razr 2 is expected to carry the same legacy forward with some improvements over the last year's model but according to Ross Young of Display Supply Chain Consultants the phone might be delayed by a quarter due to the pandemic and hence the launch should take place early next year This isn't anything new for Motorola or the Razr that phone was delayed till February of 2020 after being announced in November of 2019 According to a Lenovo executive the phone was supposed to be unveiled in September but it seems like we'll have to wait just a bit longer. The second generation Motorola Razr smartphone will most likely stick with the same form factor and the same screen sizes but the internals will get a slight bump. The Snapdragon 710 might be replaced by the more powerful Snapdragon 765G which would also make the handset 5G compatible similar to the Galaxy Z Flip. Although as we saw yesterday the Z Flip 5G might have the much powerful Snapdragon 865 Also the phone may have 8 GB of RAM and 256 GB of internal storage up from 6 GB of RAM and 128 GB storage from the previous model. The battery will also be upgraded to a 2845 mAh cell compared to 2510 mAh that should improve the overall experience of the phone. The cameras on the original phone weren't something to write home about with its single 16 megapixel snapper and a 5 megapixel inner camera. But that doesn't seem to change this year as well though the sensors have been upgraded to a 48 megapixel ISOCELL bright GM1 sensor and a 20 megapixel inner camera but it's still not a dual camera setup like the Z Flip. Also the bright GM1 sensor already has an improved sensor in the GM2 but if Motorola will use it is a question mark especially since they want to keep the cost down. But I don't understand as to how is Samsung able to manufacture the Z Flip for so less. I mean compared to this the Z Flip feels the steal of a deal with all those specs and a more robust design. Anyway by the time the Razer 2 goes on sale we might have the Z Flip 2 and that should be an interesting comparison. Also in the news Motorola seems to be working on another smartphone in the Moto Edge series after launching the Edge and Edge Plus in April. The Motorola Edge Plus is a flagship from the company which brought the brand back in the flagship game with features such as a curved 90 hertz display, stock Android 10 OS, a beefy battery, fast charging support and more. The company now plans to launch a light version of the Moto Edge named the Edge Lite and according to Ishan Agarwal it should be powered by either the Snapdragon 730G or the Snapdragon 765G chipset. The model number of the phone is XT2075. It's worth mentioning that a few days ago Mukul Sharma aka Steph Listings also shared some European FCC certification details regarding a device with model number XT2075-3 which is a 5G device with 6GB of RAM and 128GB storage indicating that it might get the Snapdragon 765G SoC. It might be that Motorola launches the 4G variant here in India while the 5G version might be sold in Europe and the US. That's everything we know about this handset as of now but we can expect more details soon. That's it for this video. Let me know your opinions about this down in the comments. Smash the like button if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel for more tech videos. I will see you all in the next one. Till then bye bye and stay safe